A resident of Semarang Central Java has found that discarded metal can be made into objects of value beyond expectation. A resident of Jalan Andres Moro Tenga in Semarang's Karangayu urban ward, nuts and bolts, old buckles, discarded pipes and other pieces of scrap metal are quite simply priceless. With these simple materials, Enrianto creates works of art in the form of miniature robots. It's hardly surprising then that many believe that robots made by him look like factory-made aluminium toy ones found in shops across the world because of the minute attention accorded to the details and finishing of each of the pieces. He carefully combines the various metal parts into a clean image. The 39-year-old can also produce replicas of popular robot characters in box office science fiction films such as the Transformers series. Awalnya memang memang dari dulu itu saya suka membuat sesuatu istilahnya kalau ada benda yang terpakai apa saya senang otak adik. Dan waktu itu pertama kali ketika di rumah saya lihat di laci saya itu banyak limbah-limbah. Di antaranya Casper, kemudian Casper itu saya rangkai kok menjadi suatu produk kayak bentuk bentuk suatu kayak mobil. Kemudian saya coba tempel-tempel pakai lem. Kemudian terbentuk produk satu produk itu bentuk hiasan mobil. Saya tertarik dan saya ingin mengembangkan itu. Enriatno's toys are not only sold domestically. His work is also much sought after by a number of foreign collectors who appreciate his work. Waktu apa nyari-nyari di internet itu nyari kerajinan limbah. Nah saya nemu di situ nemu kerajinan limbah logam. Nah, kemudian saya tertarik, saya nyari tempatnya. Kemudian saya milih-milih dan saya beli yang robot apa namanya? Uh, Alexa, kayak Alexander kayak gitu. Nah, kan. Ini bagus ini, maksudnya ini unik gitu loh, Mas. His work is also not only limited to robots, produces miniatures of cars and motorcycles, as well as figurines such as gladiators and various ornaments and trinkets, including keychains, car decorations and night lamps. His artwork can fetch up to hundreds of thousands of rupiah. To help market and promote his work, he takes part in local exhibitions. He's a self-taught man who relied on his own artistic talent to produce the metal objects and artwork. He began out of curiosity to weld old metal waste into recognizable products back in 2008 and has now made this his livelihood.